Hey everyone, today we're going to give you a sneak peek at the Pendulum Drill. This is a drill we have animated for Singapore Ultimate. To gain access to the Singapore Drills collection, or to commission your own animated drills, visit our Patreon linked in the description below. This drill targets your versatility in short break throws from flow, and the accuracy of your medium to long distance passes from flow. There are two recommended short throws, the inside out after pivoting downfield towards the sideline, and the outside in throw and go move going away from the sideline. For the inside out throw, after catching, get control of your balance before pivoting out at a 45 degree angle, as seen in this clip from Canadian team GOAT at World Clubs 2018. This angle of pivot will set you up to throw comfortably and accurately to your target. Do not rush the pivot or pivot unnecessarily wide. A controlled large step with good balance control resulting in an accurate pass is ideal. It is just amazing how good For the outside in throw, let's look at Bruno Mine, a European champion with Bologna. Mine hits an arcing crossfield pass which opens up the field against Clapham. The pass is very accurate and is opened up by his realistic fakes. When doing this drill, you should reduce the number of fakes you see here and increase the speed of your release, making the pass in flow. This pass can be made as part of a throw and go move, with the thrower accelerating out of the pass and towards the next catch. For the deep throws, there are three distinct options. Let's first look at Groot in the European Mixed Final in 2019. The thrower catches the disc moving towards the sideline. He sees Bastian Zhejiang free deep, and he arcs the disc over to the break side when no defender has a bid. The pivot is made outside of the field, and the throw travels downfield before arcing over to the far side. The key to a successful throw here is the amount of angle you put on the disc. Too little, and it'll travel too low across the field, and too much angle, and it'll be harder to aim and tricky to catch. Now let's watch Matsuno, Japan's star player and arguably the best player in the world in recent years. After catching the disc moving towards the sideline, Matsuno prefers to pivot infield and throw the crossfield deep shot. The pivot is made away from the sideline, and the disc goes across the field first and then arcs towards the receiver. Here's another example of this type of deep shot from USA in the World Games final against Colombia. Reversing momentum and putting the disc out to the break side space, caught under heavy pressure from Mosquera. The third type of deep throw is the big inside out crossfield huck. This throw is tricky, so feel free to stick to the first two deep throws. Crossfield for Matsuno, hatchet giving chase, stubs there, Matsuno! In this clip, Kichikawa catches the disc moving towards the sideline. He unfortunately travels a step downfield, but then he gets control of his balance and he rips an inside-out flick all the way across to the deep side of the end zone where Matsuno rips it out of the air. The key to this throw is to help it retain its inside-out shape for the full duration of the flight by pointing the outside edge of the disc at the floor and rotating through the release with a very smooth throwing motion. To achieve high levels of accuracy from the start to the finish of this 12 pass set, it's essential to control your balance and mental composure even when you're tired. To access our Singapore Drills collection, sign up to the Hive Ultimate $8 Patreon training tier, which also grants you access to our Hex and Flex Drills, and as a bonus, you'll get a free disc. The link is in the description, and we'll see you again soon.